We're about to wrap things up at the rehearsal, but uh, and I'm going to meet Roger. Uh, uh, not me. Uh, it's another Roger. You'll see. Now let's see if someone opens the door when I arrive. Okay. Ring the bell. Hello. Hello. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Last time I saw this room, it was totally empty. I think they were building this room, or, or at least adjusting the acoustics when I was here the last time. Now it's so beautiful. <laughs> Hi. Long time no looking, yes. or how you say it, I don't know. I'm Roger and you're Roger. I'm Roger, you're Roger. Yeah, nice. Roger. We worked together one and a half years ago. Yeah, that's a correct. Bit. Yeah. You are a studio owner. Yeah. Uh, with the fantastic mastering studio where we are right now. Mm, and thank it's you. So, it's so beautiful. <laughs> you also are a live technician, live engineer. Yeah, correct. No, not this year, uh, though, but... <laughs> <laughs> no one is out performing this year, no. 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 Yeah, How did you start with working with music? Oh, um, I think uh, the interest started uh, with, with playing music, of course. And uh, later, we work at uh, rock clubs and, and uh, yeah, stuff like that. So that's the interest for, for sound, of course. Huh? Yeah. But you were playing yourself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. What yeah. do you play? Uh, at that time I, I played the, the bass, so bass is uh, probably the, the main instrument for me. But uh, Are you still playing? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Not that much. You, but, you uh, hesitated, I mean, you hesitated. Yeah, yeah but uh, no, I, I don't have the time or... or the, the the strength, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> you know. If, if you play death metal and are forty two years old, your your uh, arms are not with you anymore. <laughs> Was it death metal you were playing? Yeah, actually, we we, we had this band uh, syndrome for for like uh, over ten years. Now you're mainly an engineer in the studio or live. Can you describe the kind of works you do? In the studio? Both? Oh, yeah. Um, actually, I we, we can say that I, I work with uh, sound. I'm not a producer or uh, uh, nothing like that. I, I like to work with, with sound and uh, do a good mix and, and uh, make a good mastering. Or, and so. Does it so. help that you have played music yourself when you're doing a mix, you think? Yeah, absolutely. Why? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> hard question. I think it's easier to to understand the instruments and and the, the the sound, you know. When when you're mixing or engineering, do yeah. you only listen to the sound, or do you also listen to what the song needs? Does it need more guitar on this song, or need needs more tambourine in this song? Or? Yeah, absolutely. I I listen to the song uh, pretty much when when I do the mix and and also when I do the recording. I just said that I'm not a producer, but I mean, if I have a band in the studio and make a recording, I really like to uh, act like a recording producer, you know. Okay. Yeah, I think that's fun. So, so you're not part of the song making process that other producers may be, but you're a no. part of the sound making process. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I think that's. Uh, I think it's it's uh, fun to to do that in the studio. Yeah. Yeah. How much of your work in the studio is with customers and how much is learning, preparing, listen to music to get references? Yeah, I mean, for, for mastering, we, we almost uh, do the job uh, uh, with no customers in, in the room. Mm -hmm. So we get mixes uh, sent here and, and we do the mastering ourselves and uh, send it back and maybe get some feedback on it. and. I work the best when I'm alone. Okay. I think and and the same for mixing. Do you spend a lot of time alone without having a customer project just to know the tools? N not not that much because if I mean 
I sit here almost every day and uh, with new projects and uh, meanwhile I try out uh, different things. So you learn so, on the way. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Do you have other hobbies? Uh, no. No? <laughs> I don't. You don't? No. <laughs> no. Actually, no. I don't collect stamps. <laughs> I don't play soccer. I don't... Uh, no, I don't do anything. No? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I know sort of what mastering is and I have my own description of it. I, yeah. I will tell you later. But if someone don't know what mastering is, can you explain what it is? Mastering is the, first of all, mastering is the, the final step of the production, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, you have done your mix and you're uh, happy with the mix. You're ho so happy that you can just put it right out on, on Spotify. But I mean... Uh, in the mastering step, you uh, we, we take a listen to the song and to the mix and uh, see what we can, how we can do it better, of course. And what is better? Uh, EQ wise, uh, I mean, everybody has uh, different monitors. Uh, some uh, do the mixes in uh, in headphones and. Uh, do mixes with, with monitors without subs and, and anything, so uh, some kind of adjustments uh, often needs to, to be done. If I should explain mastering, this is symbolic now. Yeah. Let's say we are going to build a car. Okay, yeah. yeah. To write the song is like making the drawing and the engineering of a car. Yeah. That's writing the song. Then the musicians come and we're building the parts, hmm. all the parts for that car. Yeah. <laughs> Mixing is to put all those parts together so the car is functional. Correct. Mastering is to paint it yeah. and polish it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is that sort of... Totally correct. Totally correct. Yeah. And sometimes Absolutely. it's more work. Sometimes you have to do the interior as well. And yeah, yeah. sometimes you just have to polish it a little bit and yeah. then it's fine. Yeah. I mean, just that is the, it's the best mastering job. When you get a mix that is uh, sounding uh, awesome and you just need to do a small adjustments on the EQ, maybe have a little bit compression and then a limiter just to get a, the... The level us, level, levels up. Do you do different masters for different media? Like different for Spotify, different for CD, different for vinyl? Yeah, actually we do. We, we do like, um, we do a, a, stream, a streaming version, of course. Uh, like Spotify has this uh, value minus 14. Minus you, 14 yeah. average. And YouTube like... Minus 13, minus, 13, minus 12-ish. Yeah. Actually, I, I don't do... I don't do masters uh, for these values no. because I'm, I like to to have it loud anyway. Because the, the, I think the limiter is is uh, setting a, a sound and, and a vibe to the to the mix as well. Is that depending on what style of music? You yeah, have? of course, absolutely. Yeah. I yeah. mean, if I have a, a blues song or a country song uh, and want to pre pre preserve the the dynamics in it. I don't use the limiter that much. No. But uh, and then it could be like minus 13 minus 12 LUFS or something. But I mean if I do a song and and uh, like to have it loud because it's uh, supposed to sound that way <laughs> maybe a, a streaming version of the of the song could be like minus 8. That's very one. loud. Yeah yeah. That's yeah, very it loud. Is. And then, uh, yeah, of course, we're talking about different medias. If the if the client want uh, want a, a vinyl master, we we do that okay. uh, as well. Mm. So then we then we can uh, uh, absolutely uh, uh, preserve the the dynamics and, and make a little ad other adjustments. Mm. And for CD, just crank the limiter up as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Do you master stems? Yeah, uh, some clients want to uh, send me stems and uh, sometimes I really want stems. I think the clients that, that s send me stems are uh, mostly uh, a little bit unsure on the mix or 
when I like to have stems, it's because maybe the vocal is too harsh or essay or something mm. uh, compared to the to the in instrumentals. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, mostly I I ask for stems for, for uh, just so so I can have more control for of the mix and and the master. Ah, cool. Yeah. Except for your ears and yeah. for your experience. What is the most important tool in mastering? Uh, I would say the, the monitors. The monitors. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Uh, the monitors and, uh, of course, monitors with uh, subs, I would say. Mm. Because many many do mixes with without subs and many do mixes with headphones and uh, don't have the, the control over over the, the really low frequencies. Yeah. But that's so, fine uh, yeah. because that's your job. Yeah, sort yeah, of. absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, but I mean, sometimes uh, we can have a mix with uh, so much uh, lows and uh, low mid and stuff that uh, that we nearly can't work with it. Ah, so, uh, but I mean, uh, does it happen that you that a client wants you to master a song and you say you have to mix it better before I master it? Yeah, absolutely. I. I I give uh, a lot of feedback to to the mixes. Okay. Yeah, and uh, often the clients are happy for it too. Ah. Yeah. And we have to say that uh, your clients are from the spectra to from amateurs to really professionals. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. We 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 can have mixes that uh, sounds uh, not that good, <laughs> and we can have mixes that sounds uh, awesome from from the beginning. So. Yeah. Yeah. Explain to me now. I have a studio. I record um, a bit myself, um, and I record other artists and band a little bit. Especially, I'm mixing. Uh, uh, people send me files, and I mix them. Why should I send my mix to a separate mastering engineer, a mm. professional mastering studio? Yeah, I think you have sat down with your mix for a long time. We say, and uh, you're pretty used to how it sounds and you have done your best in the mix and uh, I think it's important to to send the mix away for a, a fresh set of ears in a different room in, a, in with different speakers yeah absolutely mm. I have prepared of course yep. seven quick ones okay <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what it is? Uh, no, not really. But okay, uh, I will I ask can... you a question. Yeah. And you will answer as quickly as you can. Yeah, okay. Coffee or tea? Mm, coffee, of course. Studio or live? Mm, oh. Sometimes the studio and sometimes live. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Favorite place for a holiday? In bed. Oh. Yeah. Restaurant or cooking at home? A restaurant. Tambourine or shaker? Mm, fuck. Uh, sh shaker. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite mixing console for mixing live? Oh, I have to say uh, Midas Pro Series. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> if you're going to a gig or going from a gig, Music or silence? Mm, silence, of course. <laughs> and the Swedish word of today? Ah, yes. Uh, the Swedish word of today is uh, ratt. Ratt? Yes. And in English? Knob. This is a ratt. <laughs> and Roger that. Roger that.